with the filler gauge, you measure the clearance here. Here is the filler gauge. Here is the filler gauge. You measure, you have to check the clearance first. And it, and you move that, you move that chip, you move that uh, filler gauge like this one. And you have to fix some kind of drag. If it's loose, now we know that shim needs to be replaced. If it's tight, then you know that the shim is bad and needs to be replaced. Now, to get that shim out, you have to remove the cam. You have to get this cam out. Because to get this bucket up, the cam in the way. So you have to remove the cam to get that bucket out to reach that, that piece. Now, that, that piece, the shim, so I'm gonna put the shim right here, in the front picture. Here is the shim. That shim is a very tiny one, compared to this one. That shim is very tiny, probably it's smaller than, than a nickel. That shim has a clearance, has a thickness. That shim has a clearance. To determine, to determine the new one, you have to have that measurement right. Because there is a formula, I'm going to show you that formula. That formula is going to include the clearance here, and it's going to include the thickness of this old one to determine the new one. So that's why you have to uh, get the clearance here exactly. So you have to put the front filler gauge here, and the one that's going to go exactly between this, get the number, and put in the formula. I'm going to show you the formula in a second. But everybody knows the difference between uh, over pocket shim, under pocket shim. Over pocket shim, you don't have to remove anything. Under pocket shim, you have to remove the cam to get the pocket out to, to reach that tiny shim. You have any comment before we go to the first one? Can you say that last one one more time, please? Sure. We have to, for, for shims, we have two types. If you have one of those uh, late model bikes, so we're talking about the last 25 uh, years, if you have one of these bikes, you may have over pocket, you may have under pocket. 